Hello, welcome to Technically Analytics. Today we will discuss Andrew McCutcheon, who is a future Hall of Famer. McCutcheon started his career in Pittsburgh. McCutcheon is a center fielder that bats and throws right-handed. He's been in the major leagues for 15 years. McCutcheon has played for five teams throughout his career. Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, Milwaukee, San Francisco, and the Yankees. McCutcheon is well known for both his hitting and fielding. His accomplishments include MVP, five-time All-Star, Gold Glove, and four-time Silver Slugger. It's also worth noting that McCutcheon has made serious bank in his career with a total of $128 million. Let's take a look at his career stats. You can see that his best years come from 2011 to 2015. He may have only had won one MVP, but was in the race to win it for four straight years. If you turn your attention to his career line, 277 batting average, 369 on base percentage, 469 slugging percentage, 839 OPS, and a career 129 OPS plus. That's a really nice stat line for a 15 year career. Sometimes with long time players you'll see a big drop off from the prime years. But in McCutcheon's case, he's never dropped off. Obviously nowadays he's a DH for the Pirates. McCutcheon's speed is so good and he has 208 career stolen bases. Let's dig a little deeper. This chart is from Baseball Savant. McCutcheon ranks out very well in most categories still for his age. What strikes me is his outfielder jump being, 90, being in the 95 percentile still. Also, his speed is really good. This chart from Baseball Savant is a run value by pitch breakdown. I've had a three pitches, four seam, slider, and sinker. But if we look back at 2022, we can see where McCutcheon has been struggling. Career-wise, the four-seamer has been McCutcheon's favorite pitch to hit. In other years, he's been able to hit the breaking stuff, but in 2022, he really struggled with sinkers and sliders. You can see the highlighted whiff and K percentages. The run values of negative 9 and negative 4 tell you that McCutcheon really wasn't able to hit sinkers and sliders. Four-seamers had a run value of 6 and one of the harder hit percentages. It's a similar story in 2023 with McCutcheon having success against the fastball. It seems like he got a better handle on the slider. The sinker still gives him trouble, but overall McCutcheon is a dangerous hitter when you take into account the relatively low whiff and K percentages. We can discuss McCutcheon's greatest seasons over the course of his 15 year career, but I think his ability still shows in his day to day play. He's obviously well past his prime years. McCutcheon showed off why his nickname is Kutch. On April 15th in 2023, against the struggling St. Louis Cardinals, McCutcheon was unable to get anything going early in the game. In his first at bat, he struck out on a sticker to Steven Matz, then proceeded to fly out and walk on his last at bat against Matz, also on a sinker. Then in the top of the eighth facing Chris Stratton, he flew out again for the second time on a fastball. McCutcheon then came in the clutch in the top of the tenth facing flamethrowing Jordan Hicks McCutcheon pumps a 86 mile power sweeper with, egg, with an exit velocity of 99 miles per hour over the left field fence. Ends with being a two run homer and seals the win for the Pirates that day. And at the end of the day, Andrew McCutcheon is a Hall of Famer because it's rare to find such a consistent hitter that can also play the field like he does. McCutcheon can be thought of as a similar player to like Aaron Judge. I think Judge wound up having a better career, but McCutcheon was one of the best examples of a power hitting center fielder. Thanks for watching. Make sure to follow my blog and subscribe.